Hey everybody, I'm really excited because I finally did a really deep cleaning of my office, which was overdue uh, as we get ready for the school year and for fall. So it feels like new beginnings. And what I did in here is uh, I washed the windows, I dusted everything, I washed uh, the floor, which is something that I do probably once a year and um, you know shined everything so shined the surface of the computer cleaned the keyboard tray um, I actually emptied out some of these shelves and I realized that there are things on these shelves that don't need to be sort of in a easy access place and then there are a few things that can be decluttered like for instance here's one of those things that Con Marie talks about product boxes and I have two of them there in fact I have three because I think I have the box for this iPhone that I'm filming this video with. Um, I think that's there as well. Um, I restuck the cords in this corner back to the wall. They had come away from the wall. I moved these stands and dusted and mopped underneath them. Um, got most of the cobwebs out. I washed the walls a little bit and the doors a little bit, um, although they could use more washing. I'm also feeling like I could reconsider this uh, bulletin board slash vision board. Um, I was just watching Alejandra.tv and she's just got such amazing uh, organizing ideas. I really recommend her home tour video. I could put a whiteboard on the outside and the vision stuff on the inside. For this, this line of drawers is pretty much my line of drawers that I go to when I'm gigging um, and pull out things that I need. So one thing, again, very Conmary style is um, everything having a place, everything having a home. And so it makes such a great difference when you're cleaning up. And um, the other thing, this drawer, I, I started to put some more office supplies in there just now because I realized they don't need to be on display. We don't use them that much, um, like a hole punch and things like that. So here, let's get to the papers. Okay. The important thing is I've got the coffee on and I have a recycling bin at the ready and I have two piles. Let's get taking started. things out into piles and the manila folders are things that I have pulled out of my filing cabinet and um, I sometimes get in a little bit of a bad habit of pulling things out of the filing cabinet and then keeping them out. But the good news is um, now that my files all fit in a single file cabinet drawer, um, I, it's easy to put them back and find them. These are all my music charts and again this is uh, the system that I've had ever since I did my paper decluttering with the KonMari method and it served me wonderfully. So the A, um, the alphabetical is loose charts on alphabetical order and then um, there are a number of charts um, by sort of category and one of them is a uh, ukulele category or, or type of music like country or classical um, or salsa. So this is going really well. Um, I feel like I'm on a roll. I've gotten a lot of stuff into the recycling. I also discovered a bill that was due tomorrow that if I didn't have uh, pay was going to be double the interest rate. So that was a good uh, find and I paid it. There it is. So I can put these tax receipts, including, uh, in fact, I have to look, I have a bazillion Goodwill receipts. So notebooks, man, it's always tempting to keep these things around, um, but it's nice also to let it go. Okay, I was able to rip out everything from this one, and then this one I ripped out a number of pages. You can see all the pages that I was able to rip out from my notebooks there. I love to do paper to-do lists. I don't like uh, electronic to-do lists. Look at that, it's getting really close. Got through everything. Now, here's some brochures I was going to read. Actually, one more thing I wanted to do is declutter a little bit over here. Okay, so I also decluttered um, this vision board. So all these things get recycled too. They were nice. Part of my initial vision but in terms of priming my mind I'm not sure they necessarily did the job. I'm gonna power through these brochures so that I can recycle them. Ooh, I did it! I read through all these brochures and now 
they are going in zip recycling. Oh, I spoke too soon and I just remembered that I have two other things that I wanted to go through. So this is another topic that Conmary addresses. Um, I went to, gosh, this conference was from last year, and then this conference was from January of this year. Go through these things right now because I'm on a roll, feeling really good. So these things were living in that bottom space. Here, I'll start with this. I'll start with I'll start with the magazines and then I'll deal with the other conference, which is older. You can see the recycling bin is once again empty because after I had finished, I went outside and emptied it. So now let's start going through these things. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. Do that. I could probably throw almost everything away without even looking at it. Uh, it's some kind of reading thing. This was something closer. Don't need it. Um, don't need it. Again, I don't even really have to look at these things. Oh, those are cute. You can leave the cases. Don't need it. This is some kind of a weird zine. You know what? I'll, I'll put it. This will be reading material, so we'll make a stack of reading material. This is show events guide. Definitely don't need that. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Don't need it. Oh, it feels good when you're just in that mood and you're just like, do not even care. <laughs> That's reading material. Reading material. Reading material. What is this? Schedule. Don't need it. Reading material, uh, reading material, brochures, brochures, um, press release, press release, I don't know what that is, press release, um, press release, press release, um, so this is kind of cool, I actually got a job with them, because I'm going to the conference, um, it's a really good hotel, press release, registration, I need that, I need that, I know what it is, And that's kind of nice. I got a pen from a very expensive microphone maker. So this, oh my goodness. So this is literally just been sitting under my, this has been sitting under my desk for a year. Recycle. Recycle. Um, oh look, it's a picture of me. I'm gonna bring the picture of uh, Press release. This is from 2015, so program guide, definitely that. Uh, Press releases, I need them. Sticker, that may have lost sticky. Uh, gosh. Oh, business cards. Press release. So I'll have to go through the business cards more carefully. Um, I'll have to go through the business cards more carefully. Okay, Gig Junction. I don't know if this is for the union. Oh, yeah, this is the Los Angeles Musicians Union. Uh, so, I mean, this all goes through this, you know, the test of like, if you haven't looked at it in over a year, clearly, um, it was not March yet. I'll use that sticker. I'll use like music stickers on this. Um, this is just a bookmark. I got the cards down to this little stack, and I got the magazines down to this kind of a stack. So that's not too bad. And this bag will be put with my shopping bags, and uh, this bag will be recycled. There you have it. Beautiful, clean office, and all the papers put away. So I hope this inspires you to just tackle that paper pile again. If you go through the Conmary method, you will get rid of so much paper. It will make you feel so good. And then you're able to process things more easily. And that was probably, that was a couple months worth of paper. But as you can see, it wasn't that much. And um, I'm really glad I got through it. Okay, I hope this helped you out and inspired you to tackle the paper monster. Bye.